and cold. But I took a shower. Can you tell? My hair looks nice and healthy for once. <laughs> uh. Mmm, it smells nice too. Also, oh, why? It looks so shiny. What the hell is this? <laughs> Let's not mention how thick, like, my tongue looked back there. Okay, it's in the past. It's in the past. Um. Also, I have really comfortable socks on. I love them. They're so cool. They're so comfortable. They're just like. Um. Yeah, I don't really know why I started a YouTube video. I just. I just be bored and decided to start one, so you're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about because I haven't really done anything. I went grocery shopping. I hate grocery shopping. I hate shopping in general. Clothes shopping is the worst, but grocery shopping is a close second. Um... Which clothes shopping at least has a solution. Grocery shopping does not have a solution. You just need to grocery shop. Like, there's no solution. Clothes shopping, you can, like, shop online. Food, grocery shopping is just not a thing that you can just shop online. Stupid. Um. Um. <laughs> I didn't do much else other than in grocery shop. And then, yeah. I almost started a rant video about my grandma, which I can't even remember what the fight was about, but I got mad at her and I was like, about to start a rant video, but then I was like, no, you need to calm down and cool off. And so I took a hot shower and just like relaxed. And it's been a couple hours since then and I'm like, got to be my happy self. Also, I went grocery shopping in my pajama pants, which I've never done before. I don't know why I've never done it before, because it was awesome and comfortable and just like, why? And no one gave me second looks, because it was 9 in the fucking morning and I was tired as fuck and just like, done with life. Also, because my grandma made me go there because she was worried it was going to rain and she didn't want to be there during the rain. On the traffic that might happen too, so she was just like, let's go early. And there was no one there, aside from the... Uh, employees at the place that were like moving around shit and just like I don't know <sighs> but yeah that thing that big has happened today just cause kind of been binge watching YouTube videos and living life hey <laughs> um Yeah, I'm happy to have clean hair though. It's still kind of damp too. Uh, uh, um, still nothing to talk about. Uh, I could do a rent video on like some big important issue that's like going on right now but I don't really feel like doing one of those <laughs> oh you know what I could do I could do my thing where like you know where I came up with my series series where I was like uh um Um, remember, like, last month, I did my video on, like, oh, what was it? Like, ten things I like about myself and ten things I don't like about myself. But because I'm lazy and, like, yeah, I'm lazy, I'm just probably going to do five each. So I deal with it. But I have to think of it and then write it down first. So excuse me. I'll be back in, like, ten minutes. Okay, so apparently I started my March one already, but I completely forgot. Big surprise there, I have the memory of a fucking gnat. Or some small thing that has a terrible memory. Like, goodness gracious. 
Okay, so I ended up doing ten anyways. Ten for each. So no. <sighs> okay. Mm. God, I can't wait to do it. Excuse me. Um, can't wait to finish. <gasps> My head looks so shiny now. It looks greasy and dark and gross and <laughs> ah, that's pretty. Okay. <sighs> Still a chubby potato though. Hmm. Okay, but my first one was I'm confident about the wall on the side of my neck, which I have right here. Hold on, can I show you? I don't know if I can fucking show you. Wait, hold on, let me get a mirror. I kind of like low key want to finish it in my grandma's bathroom just to see how it'll work. <sighs> and I forgot my ponytail. Hold on, it's too complicated. I can't show it without another person. <sighs> Wait, hold on. I guess I could. Can you see me? No? Cool. I'm too late to actually try to show you. But basically, I have like a small little mole on the side of my mic. This side. And it's like right there, which you can't tell because you're not fucking... Yeah, what the fuck? I can't even fucking show you. Whatever. Anyways, I have a mold there, and I love it because it reminds me of my dad because my dad has the same mold on the side of his face. And whoa. Um. he has the same mold, or he used to have the same mold on the side of his neck, but then this little dipshit got rid of it, and so I'm kind of mad about that. Because we used to be twinnies. But then he decided to get rid of it. And so now we're not twinnies. And it's messed up. But I don't like it. Uh. Uh. So yeah. That's cool. We both had potential cancer spots on both of our necks. But his, he got rid of. And I still have mine. So yeah. Uh, my insecurity about that was that he got rid of his and I didn't get rid of mine. <laughs> so original. Okay. Um, then I'm confident about my hair because it's wavy and cute when I like wash it and it looks clean and it's nice. But then it's also really frizzy most of the majority of the time. So like that annoys me. <sighs> so yeah. Um... I like my hard work and dedication and like persistence of something when I really, really want it. Like I won't give up. Like for example, my turtle tank. <laughs> spent like five hours looking for the proper turtle tank. Like dealt with like three different rude ass people who almost made me cry because of the ridicule, ridicule and like just judgment they were giving me and I was just fed up and I was tired. But I still persisted until it was like literally 7 p.m. No, it was even 8 p.m. and I started out at 3, so like 5 hours, and we finally got my tank. So, I mean, it's not even the proper size tank, but like, for, like I persisted for 5 fucking hours for that tank, so, yeah. Persistence and dedication when I really, really want something. Um, yeah. A funny story my mom liked to tell me when I was little, too. Was, I can vaguely remember, but I don't remember it as clear as my mom did. But um, my mom, for time out, she would like close, shut me in my room and like close the door and just like watch the door and make sure I didn't leave my room. And, um, but I hated that. And our, we, <laughs> we lived in a trailer, so it wasn't really a door. Our room was kind of like a closet almost. It was so tiny. Anyways, so it wasn't really like a proper door. It was like a slide door, like a closet door. And, um, and so I was really mad. I was a screamer when I was mad. And, still am. <laughs> okay, but I was screaming and sobbing and, like, literally, like, trying to break down the door. And my mom had to, like, sit there with a chair blocking the door. But I was, like, pushing so hard on it that it was bending. <laughs> and I don't really remember that well, but my mom thought it was hilarious. She was like, my daughter's a She-Hulk, like, an animal. <laughs> 
Another thing she used to do to annoy me when I was a kid was whenever I was screaming for attention or whatever, she would just turn up the music on the radio and I would just scream louder and she would just turn up the music even louder. And just like, I hated it. I hated being ignored even when I was little. I think that's something everyone hates though, being ignored. Um, whatever. Now I'm mature enough to just like find something else to distract me when I'm being ignored. AKA, but my grandma, because she's like immature. And I was like a five-year-old. 95% of the time. Um, but a thing that I don't like about myself is when I'm not trying and I don't believe in myself and like uh, don't really want it that much and I'm just like curious about it. And I just like have like small little like minor um, issues that go along with it. I like give up really easily. Like for example, piano. Uh, I tried it and I was okay in the beginning and then when it got harder I was just kind of like nope I can't do it and gave up and like totally failed that class half-assed it to do it right um so yeah or especially when I'm afraid of something I don't try it either so like there's a lot of stuff that I want to do that's on my bucket list but I know if like someone else won't do it with me I'll get too scared to not do it because I'm afraid uh so <laughs> Okay, but like, what was that weird tongue thing? Okay, whatever. Um, so I'm insecure about that. And then I'm confident about my instantaneous decisions. So like, I don't think before I do shit a lot of the time. And I don't think before I speak either. And I love that about myself because it just means like I'm more fun and instantaneous and just like do more shit than the average person. And I'm just like, I'm not boring. Which I like about myself. But then I also don't like the like the consequences of my decisions because there have been a shit ton of consequences having to do with me not thinking stuff out and just like... <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, another one was that I'm confident about is I always try and make people happy and like... Uh, like I'm always trying to make people laugh or smile or... Like, if I sense anyone is upset, especially if, like, I'm close to them, I'm just, like, always trying to, like, zero in on them, and I'm, like, trying to make them happy, blah, 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 blah. Um, but in that same sense, I can easily be manipulated because I'm not the best people reader when someone's, like, faking uh, being, like, upset or whatever. Uh, well, obviously, I can tell when someone's being obviously fake. Um, but, like when someone's not being obviously fake and they're a good faker and they're like being upset, I'm like the first person to go over to them and try and comfort them. Um, and a lot of times, like I've noticed that I'll be manipulated by people that way because like they think, oh, she'll give me attention if I act upset or whatever. And like, so I've been manipulated a lot because of that. So that's the negative side of that. Um, I am very protective of people, so, uh, so, like, I get very defensive of people, especially if, like, um, I'm close to someone or I really respect someone and someone trash talks them, I get very upset and protective of them and defend them the best I can, um, but then also, like, if I get really angry, I, like, threaten and, like, do stuff and like I never follow through with it because I'm just too chicken shit to do actually do anything and I'm like afraid that like in the future if I do something like that someone will actually get mad at me and try and fight me when I threaten them and then and like <laughs> and like I'll like not know how to do anything and like just end up being like dead or like I don't know or like they'll figure out my threats are like total like bullshit <laughs> um um, another thing I'm confident about is my love for writing. I love writing. I've always loved writing. Even when I was little, I used to always carry a notebook around with me. So much has changed. And, uh, I used to just write stuff down and just, like, write little stories and stuff. I used to be a big story writer. And then, um, I'm kind of not confident about my writing, especially my creative writing anymore because, like, I don't know, I, I just realized that as I've gotten older, like a lot of my creativity has like gotten way low. So it used to be that I couldn't write full stories anymore. And then it got to the point where like I would start writing poems, but then eventually like I don't write poems anymore either. 
And so, like, I've totally, like, dried out on my creative writing aspect of writing, which is kind of sad because I used to love creative writing so much when I was younger. And now it's just kind of gone. But I by no means don't love writing anymore because I still love writing. I love writing all the time. Like, I love essays. I love journalism. I love writing. I just don't love creative writing anymore. Which I'm kind of bummed about because creative writing is really fun and interesting. I just don't have the mindset for it anymore. So, that's kind of sad. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, my finger that out. Finger. Okay, uh. And then. Another insecurity I have is I don't hold grudges and I forgive people pretty easily and just like forgive and forget, you know? Um. But because of that, a lot of the people that I forgive are the wrong people and they like. Uh, use me and manipulate me and like um, walk all over me in. Yeah. I'm working on it though. I'm not nearly as bad as I used to be. I stand up for myself a lot more. Uh, so, I mean, I'm working on it. Uh, um, and then another insecurity that I have is my laziness because when I'm lazy, I always like self criticize myself and I'm just like, you're lazy. You don't do shit. Like, you're pathetic. You're lazy. You don't do shit. Blah, 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 blah. Over and over and over again. And then... But I never feel, like, guilty enough to actually do shit. Um, but a positive to that is... I can get comfortable pretty much anywhere. And, like, just make myself home at home anywhere. And some people are okay with that. And then some people aren't. So, like, I remember... Uh, whenever I visit, like, other people's houses, I, like, especially if it's, like, the second visit or whatever, I get, like, crying in my hair. It's just so frizzy. It's just annoying. Like, stop. Okay. But, um, I get really comfortably easily, which some people are fine with, and some people are just kind of like, what are you doing on my couch? And you didn't ask to sit on my couch. And just, like, what are you doing? So I can get very comfortable easily. So I like, and I'm kind of confident about that, but kind of like, <laughs> some people don't like that. So <laughs> I don't know. It's the talent to get comfortable pretty much anywhere. I don't know. Um. So yeah, that was my confidence slash insecurity list for the month of March. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this video was fucking weird. Especially in the beginning when I had no fucking clue what I was gonna do. And then when I finally figured it out, it was just kind of like awkward and hesitating and just like, what? Sorry. Um... That's it.